Mullenville United Methodist, a rural church located east of Dodge City, is experiencing a renewed energy thanks to the support it's received from the Kansas West Annual Conference and your mission and ministry funds. When I first got here, the church was a church in turmoil. They kind of lost their flair, I, I guess you could say. And I don't think that that's, that's the case anymore. People are actually thinking, you know what? I think we can do this. This is possible. Carl Ellis, director of the Center for Small Membership Churches for the Kansas West Conference, has been working with Mullenville United Methodist on a visioning process that has led to a renewed enthusiasm for working together as a community of faith. Basically what we do is we come in, we work with the church on understanding their culture. Uh, we then do conversations around what, what is it that they would like to see in their church. I think Carl's uh, workshops have helped people to um, realize, you know, we can't continue to focus on the past. Uh, we, we have to work through some of the things, but we also need to start focusing on the future, who we are, and um, the future God has for us as a church. Though the church had been torn by division in the past, the development workshops have helped the church reunite and heal. Since Carl has came, uh, several things have have changed here in the church. Uh, he has brought an awareness of where where we were going and where we needed to go. There's a more positive air. Um, there's a a good spirit. Um, uh, in the past, we kind of were headed down two different roads. Now we're coming together, I feel, as a more unified, Christ-centered church. It's brought us closer unit as a church and a body of uh, believers. There's a, a strong sense of camaraderie. They really get along with one another. And even some of the people that were hurt because of some of the earlier tensions, um, I think they're starting to feel uh, a little um, more involved. The workshops have revitalized and refocused the church's energies by creating in the church a vision for how to move forward. I think it's important because it shows us that we can do things differently. So many churches get stuck into one way of doing things. And I, I really think that the workshop helps us to see that, you know what, just because you're you, you're on a particular committee or you've been doing things a certain way for such a long time doesn't mean it has to stay that way. I think it's very valuable. We have grown. There is a change. There are changes. And I think small churches, any church, probably needs to, to breathe in some new life from time to time. It doesn't all have to be done at once, but if we just take little bites at a time and, and kind of follow the examples he's given us, we have, we have an opportunity to, to really begin to grow. There's a whole community out there that, that can be reached. I believe that if, if we start focusing on, on the things that are important, that God will use that, and the things that Carl's helped us to uh, develop here will help us to, to grow. Your congregation's support of the Conference Mission and Ministry Funds makes the work of Carl Ellis possible, helping small membership congregations focus on the work to which God is calling them.